Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how this can get you into a locked computer. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so over the last uh, couple of days, I've been messing around with my Zotac Z box and trying to configure it for use as a guest PC or a visitor to PC, but also with an admin account. Now, I've spent so much time messing around with it, I actually forgot what I set the admin account to. So when I go over to the screen, when I try to log in, I'll try my usual password. And there we go, password is incorrect, try again. And I've tried a few times and I haven't got a clue what I set it to. So rather than watch my video again to see what password I set it to, here's an easier way. Now with this USB drive, I've got on here the Lazy Soft Recovery tool which I'll put links to in the description below so you can check out it for yourself. But this tool is a fantastic little addition to every Techies toolkit. Now this has a live bootable CD installation so you can boot it up from your computer, bypassing Windows and gain access to that security system and change your password. So let's go ahead and do it now. So USB into the front of the PC and now we can shut down the computer and boot from that USB drive. Now you may need to change your BIOS on your system or maybe hit the F12 or F10 key. A lot of different computers are different in which way they do it. Alternatively, you can just go into the BIOS and set the USB as your primary boot device. So we're gonna tap the delete key and get into the BIOS and see what the settings are. So in the uh, UEFI, I can go to boot and set my boot options. So here's our boot options. So for boot option one, currently we've got the Samsung SSD. So we're gonna change that to our Kingston Data Traveler. Now I'm gonna set the second boot option to the Samsung drive. So in that way, when I remove the USB stick, it won't try and boot from there. It'll go straight to the Samsung drive. I hope that makes sense. So now we can save changes and exit. Okay, so we've got a Windows boot manager and the option is the LazySoft Live CD. So we'll go straight into that. Now you can also use this CD to do other types of things. Obviously they call it a CD, but it's not, it's on a USB stick, but same, same. You can use it to do memory testing and other kinds of diagnostic work. But for this video particularly, I'm gonna be using the password recovery option. So like I said, You've got options for Windows recovery, disk imaging and cloning, data recovery, and password recovery. So let's go into password recovery. And you get an option for uh, resetting the Windows password, but also really handy, actually, if you cannot remember your password and for some reason this fails, you can make a note of your Windows product key. So if you have to, at the last resort, do a fresh installation, at least you're gonna have your Windows key so you can go ahead and do that installation. But for this instance, we're gonna choose reset Windows password and hit next. Now you get the kind of the statutory notice that this is free for non-commercial use. Well, technically this is slightly t commercial use because it's a YouTube channel, but I'm using it at home. So, well, you make your own minds up. If you do wanna use this in a professional environment for business, workplace, etc., there is a licensed version which you can purchase. Again, I'll put the links in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. So next we get the menu and it's saying it's Microsoft Windows 10 X64 volume one, which is correct. So if you have a, a multi-boot device or multiple drives in the machine, then you can choose which drive it's actually physically on. And this is the option to set a local password. Now, if it's a Microsoft account password or a, a domain-based system password, you won't have any luck with that, I'm afraid with this. This is purely for local passwords. And here are the various accounts which are actually on the machine. So the one I'm trying to use is the Zotac one. So we're gonna choose Zotac. So if you want to, you can choose any of the ones, guest accounts, visitor, the sort of hidden admin account, whichever it may be, but I'm gonna choose Zotac. So hit next. In this section, it would come up with the description of the name except if you had one in there, but we haven't. So you've got an option here, you can either reset or unlock or you can change. So I'm gonna go ahead for reset or unlock. And there we go, there's our password reset. So now when we log in, the system will just need a simple press of the enter key 
and we can go in then and change the password to whatever we choose to. Alternatively, we could have done, click on the change icon and put in a new password at that point. Again, entirely up to you if you're using this as a uh, repair type thing for a customer, for instance, then obviously you can change it to whatever they prefer your password to be, if they wanna let you have it, all that kind of stuff. Again, it's very flexible, you can choose which you wanna do. The choice is entirely up to you and your customer. So all we need to do now is click on finish and reboot. Remove the USB stick so it doesn't try to boot from it again. And there we go, it's booting up and we're straight into Windows. So now we can go into the user account section and add the password of our choice. So hopefully this has been useful to you. If it has, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more content like this. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we will see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.